Hi, my name is Steve Sawyer and I want to introduce you to what I know is going to be one of the most useful tools an artist can have that uses an easel. This is the original canvas bridge. Now, if you'll zoom in, I'd like to show you what the end looks like and you'll see how it got its name. It's taller on both ends, so it spans the distance of the canvas like a bridge. On the bottom, it's a sharpened screw. On the top, there's a pre-drilled hole through which the screw is affixed and there's a little wooden plug put on top before it's finally finished. Now, let me show you a very quick and simple demonstration of how important and how easy this is. Now, I normally press one side in, but if you don't feel like pressing it in, you can always use canvas pliers or a small hammer and you can get it in. Now, I have one in the top stretcher bar and I've got one in the bottom stretcher bar. I have two canvas bridges and let me show you exactly how it works and why it's so great. Now, I know I like to paint the entire canvas and one of the things, the first most obvious thing is on the bottom you can paint the entire surface of the canvas with no interference from the lip of the easel, which I have always had a problem with. Now, up at the top, what we're looking at is the same thing. The upper lip of the easel that holds the canvas in place, that gets in the way also. Now what the canvas bridge does, I push down, tighten the thumb screw. Now all the pressure is applied onto the canvas bridge. It's no longer applied to the top stretcher bar that can cause your canvas to sag when you push down on it because you want to get your canvas secure and tight. What we have is a very simple, simple principle in physics where all the pressure is displaced and put out to the ends of the stretcher bar. Now this is a 24 inch canvas bridge. We have it in two sizes, 16 and 24 inch. It's made out of poplar. It's got a furniture grade finish on it. Look at this. The greatest thing in the world. You can paint the entire canvas top and bottom and it's held securely in place. If I want to move the canvas, the only thing I can do is actually rock my easel. Now, obviously we don't want to rock the easel, but it's totally secure. And guess what? The canvas is just as tight as it was when I put it up there before I applied all that pressure. The canvas bridge is an amazingly simple tool that's just indispensable. I haven't done a painting without it in over 10 years. So this is the original canvas bridge. Two sizes, use it on the top, on the bottom, you get full coverage and it's totally secure. Great product.